Yeah, I would just like, like to say on behalf of uh, all of us here at the Norton Fire Department, our thoughts and prayers uh, within Sergeant DeFoster's family and all the members of the Norton Police Department. So we have it, two people that it's affected. I actually grew up with Stephen and his sister, both his sisters. I grew up in Norton. So I've known Stephen since he was little. And then I also work with his wife. And it's just a really sad time. And um, I feel for the family, I'm heartbroken. And I just hope that with all the love and support of their family and friends that they're able to come through this. And I have to tell you that today coming here, he was so well liked and the ceremony they had going, you know, the bagpipes and all the police were here, it's just so moving. And he, Stephen was such a good person, great guy. And um, I like to say is that rest in peace. And rest in peace, I agree. I met Steve only a few times because I was Jessica's co-worker as well, and he always had a great smile and very, very kind man. Mm -hmm. um, and Jessica and her kids are great too, and we just hope the best for them and that they can feel all the love they have around them. Mm, a lot of love. Yeah. One of my funniest memories of Steve is his impression of Buffalo Bill and just being a great, great person and how wonderful he was to me and the girls after my divorce. And he's gonna be greatly missed by everybody. Steve was like a mentor to me. Well, he was a mentor. Um, playing in a band with him and being part of the rhythm section, he was a drummer and I'm a bassist. And uh, there's a certain, certain connection on a different level when, um, when being in a band like that and you know being that the rhythm of the band and that's kind of what you know it emulates to certain people in life um, he was their rhythm the bedrock pretty much and uh, he was just an all-around amazing man and not much more can uh, can you take away from that my father Todd Jones definitely knew him personally and I know that he would have wanted to have been here today uh, which is why I came out today uh, just to kind of show my support uh, for the Norton Police Department as well as for the DeFoss family and I do just want to make sure everyone knows that my dad is still here um, and by me coming I'm hoping that that can keep his memory alive and to make sure that everyone still knows that he is still supporting everyone unconditionally, even though he is no longer able to be with us. I met Steve, uh, it's probably been close to 20 years, uh, working with the police parade down in uh, Newport and Middletown, and uh, we just clicked, uh, hit it off really good, um, had a lot of fun together. Uh, after the parade, we'd always go to the after uh, events, and. Uh, I guess my claim to fame was uh, singing uh, the Partridge Family, I Think I Love You, and Sweet Caroline. And every year when Steve would see me, he'd start singing it or tell me I'd have to sing it. And that's kind of what happened. And we've been friends ever since. And, uh, you know, seen him at uh, other events as well, too. Um, it's just, uh, it, it, hits, it hits hard. It's not a good thing, this damn COVID. We my name is Aaron Chauncey. Uh, Steve DeFossis was my best friend. We played music together for years. I was a student of his at his karate dojo. He's probably the most loyal and honest and honorable man I've ever known in my entire life. And uh, this community is really missing a hero tonight. We're really going to miss you, Steve.
we ask that you send your blessing upon our brother's final resting spot and grant that our brother may sleep here in peace until you come to awaken him in glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face, and in your light will see light and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. It is in the sure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ that we now commend to Almighty God our brother Steve, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May the Lord bless him and keep him. May the Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give to him eternal peace. And my dear friends, let us now pray to our Lord Jesus Christ for our brother. Jesus, who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I would kindly ask you to respond to the following petitions. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Steve and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us now in our sorrow, we pray to the Lord. You raise the dead to life. Give to our brother Steve eternal life, we pray to the Lord. He was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints, we pray to the Lord. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Comfort us now, Lord, in our sorrow at the death of our brother Steve. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. It is with longing now for the coming of God's kingdom that together now we pray the words that our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And we pray. Eternal God, you made the union of man and woman a sign of the bond between Christ and his church. Grant peace and mercy to our brother Stephen, who is united in love with his wife, Jess. May their care and devo devotion of his life on earth find a lasting reward in heaven. Look kindly on his wife and on his children, as now they turn to your compassion and love. Strengthen their faith and lighten their loss. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And friends, I'd invite you at this time to bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord, Steve is gone now from this earthly dwelling and leaves behind those who born, mourn his absence absence. Grant that as we grieve for him, we may hold his memory dear and live in hope of the eternal kingdom where you will bring us together again. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant to him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May Steve rest in peace. Amen. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And my friends, may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our prayers are now ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen, 
and down the mountain side. The summer's gone, and all the flowers are dying. Tis you, tis you must go, and I must buy. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow. Oh, when the valley's hushed and wide with snow. Tis I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. And when you come and summer's in the meadow, if I am dead, as dead I may well be, you'll come and find the place where I am lying. You'll kneel and say an ave there for me. And I shall hear those soft you tread above me, for my grave will warmer, sweeter be. And I shall hear you tell me that you love me, and I will rest in peace until you come to me. Yes, I will rest in peace until you come to me.
out and control to Delta 1. Norton control to Delta 1. Norton control to Detective Sergeant Stephen DeFossett. Sir. As a patrolman, a detective, a sergeant, commander of the award-winning honor guard, and the detective division commander, you honorably served as a loyal, trusted, and dedicated member of this department. Your department mourns, mourns alongside your family, friends, and the community. You will forever be remembered for the sacrifices you have made. Detective Sergeant Stephen DeFossett, you are 10 6. We have the watch, sir.
Steve was my dad's best friend, my karate sensei, and his kids were, I babysat for a long period of time. His whole family makes me feel like I was their family, and every time I saw Steve, he'd say, Sierra, and he'd just look genuinely happy to see me, and I'm just really gonna miss his outgoing personality and his warm hugs and just his friendly, just how friendly he was. Steve was just an amazing guy. Um, he was an amazing musician. And he, you know, I've known him since I was a little kid and he helped me out of a lot of things. He helped um, record the soundtrack to one of a film that I made. And just, you know, unbelievable chops as a musician. Just an amazing guy. He taught me a lot. He was my karate instructor. He was my friend. Just an amazing guy. Dad was a great guy, and we're going to miss him, Austin and I. Even though we're far away, we know that he's always with us, and we will carry on from this day forth where we will always be thinking of him and always constantly keeping him in our prayers. My dad was one of the strongest and one of the most caring people you could have ever met, and uh, I couldn't be blessed with a better family and a better community than this one and I'm going to miss him very much. We made a promise to each other that we would always stay with each other. We would always we, oh, go on. We love you dad. We love you dad.